and welcome to today's vlog. It is what day are we on? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. See? I've still got that baby brain. Anyway, today we have come to the studio. I've tied all the balloons away and I've decided this. Obviously, it's a balloon arch and I am going to use it as a balloon arch. But I was thinking when it's not in use, it can be used for cake smashes so I can hang like. Um, background things down on like fish wire and you won't be able to tell when it's actually hanging down it'll look like it's pinned to the wall so that was a clever idea by me don't you think so yeah we've just been clearing up popped all the balloons and then we've got these tables over here now that dave's gimme so i'm not too sure what we're doing with these yet but they're going to come in handy when i do like kids parties because i'll be able to put yeah, and for the Halloween party, but I'll be able to get like four, eight, like 18 kids, 18 to 20 kids on like a table, which is basically what I'm advertising for, like between 15 and 20 little people. So, and we're actually going to do a hair review for the Simply Sarah because somebody. Hair review? Yeah, like. We've had a few comments saying that they really like the way that I plait um, Portia's hair and Vanellope's. So I thought it'd be really good to do a review for the Simply Sarah channel. Like a review. A tutorial um, for the Simply Sarah channel and then you can go over there and watch it completely. So there probably will be a little bit speeded up in today's vlog but if you want to see the full tutorial, then you'll have to go over to Sim Sarah's channel, which is my channel. So, go and show me some love and subscribe if you've not already. I did actually film making these um, pots for Chelsea's baby shower. Now, we've got most of it, but for some reason, somebody deleted the first part that I actually did. So, I think what we'll have to do is take everything off and refilm it. And then just keep the other part. I mean, I've got the same clothes on, so I can be in it. <laughs> Portia won't be able to, because she's got different clothes on. Unless we have the first part of the um, video with a different top on and a hair down. Well, no, it'll be plaited the same, but um, she'll have a different top on. I did tell her to get a top and a short so she'd look the same for the video. Either that, or I could just re-video it all. But then it means taking everything off, cleaning it up, and then doing all that talking again. And it was a really good video. So, and I know it was Dave, because Dave deletes everything. So, I blame him. Because your dad deletes everything. Anyway. He doesn't delete his 3D printed stuff. No, he never deletes any of his 3D printed stuff. Just Sarah's stuff. Just simply my stuff. <laughs> yeah, simple and high stuff. <laughs> so the boys are over there playing on the computer for a little bit. We just had dinner here as well. We had baked muffins and oh my god, they were delicious. And the baby's awake now. Yeah, and the baby's just woke up. Can you hear her? So I'm gonna get down to doing Portia's hair and recording for the Simple Sarah channel, and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a bit. Because there's some stuff that needs to sort out. In fact, we need to sort these boxes out of the um, folk booth stuff because I need to go through and get rid of all the stuff that I don't want and just rebox it all. So I'll probably do that as well. Um, and I'm not too sure. There's loads of stuff. Oh, I need to enter this cupboard because they actually want to put them tables away for now so they're not in the way and make some room in there because look at this. So. As you know, this cupboard now just looks like we've just threw everything in it. So the plan is to clean that out, get it looking tidy. I actually want to put another shelf in there, I think, because it's just kind of like wasted space. So I think I might get Dave to put one in. And then I'm going to decide on the colour paint that I want. I was going to do this like a mustard yellow, but I'm not too sure whether I'm going to paint that white. So it's just all white. Because I just think it'd look better, especially like when we're doing parties and we can hang stuff off the wall. 
Um, I think it what better get all look the same colour because yeah, I don't remember to do yellow or pick another colour. I'm not, I'm not excited. I really do love mustard, so I think we are going to go for a mustard theme and. I might actually paint this mustard or the yellow that I was looking at because thinking about it, when you have a part you always want it to look bright and colourful, don't you? So it'd look really nice as long as we had like and it'd match if we had like yellow blooms and mm, so yeah, we'll probably do that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do Porsche's hair and then we'll check back in with you guys very soon. <laughs> He's alright, Muppet. Alright guys, so I've got back now from the other studio. I uh, took Mason with me and I had the next door neighbour, Anthony. He helped me bring the other desk. So I'm going to show you the desk now. Now, to some people it isn't going to look practical, but for me this is practical. This is how I like to work with everything around me that's close. So everything fits, everything's going to get plumbed in tomorrow, working. I have actually started printing with these two big printers. Now, when I told you about the rigidity of the desk, this desk doesn't move a single millimetre and the prints are coming out beautifully. So I'm going to show you now quick, quickly what I've done today. Okay, so now this is one of the desks from the old studio and uh, now it's got two copy masters on it and it's got a Delta printer on it. These prints now are coming out beautifully. These are the last two letters for Kaya's name. This is printing a first order stock. And then over here, this is the big table. This is the L-shaped table. This has got the big boys on it. So this has got a copy master 300, a copy master 400, an anacubic Chiron, and then the back there, it's got the little Ender 2. Everything is working perfect. Look, there's enough room for the beds to go back all the way without them hitting the wall. This one over here only comes back to here. And then when it comes forward, it's only coming out this far. So I've got plenty of room to walk past. Ignore the mess over there. That's because I've been changing the hot end on this. This has now got a brand new hot end and bolding tube attached to it. So this should be printing like an absolute boss tomorrow. But the only thing I've got to do now is level these three printers and we will be good to go. Still under the table is the CR10 Mini. That's where it lives. That's where it's happy. So for a lot of people, as I've said, this isn't ideal. But for me, I like it like this. I've got space down here now in this corner that I can utilize should in a year's time I want to um, move forward and get a raised printer which is what I'm aiming for or a um, a T-Rex which is a big boy a very expensive printer you're talking like 5 to 10 to 15 even to a hundred thousand pound obviously I won't be going up to a hundred thousand pound but um, I would really like a raised printer because they are the dogs bowl arcs. so I'm gonna head home now it is now half past eight in the evening tomorrow we've got craft day Downstairs, there's a craft studio and they do things with the kids. So Rebecca's gonna come over tomorrow, we're gonna do craft day with the kids. We're making animals out of wool, which should be interesting. Mason said he's gonna do the cat, I'm gonna do a, a sheep, I think. I don't know what every, everybody else is gonna do, but we'll find out tomorrow. So I'm gonna head home now and then we will check in with you guys once we get over there. Okay guys, I thought we'd just check in with you because we got a card the other day, but I forgot to open it. So I do apologise. It's not that I purposely forgot. It was that I left it all well, the time. <laughs> we didn't. Um, so I'm just going to open it now quickly. So it says, a "New baby grandson. May he brighten up your world and bring you happiness always." So I'm just going to show you the card. This is a card. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And hold on. Let me just open it. I can't do this. Like one handed. I can multitask. I'm trying to open a card. The one hand is hard. So it says To Sarah, Dave, and family, congratulations on the birth of your first grandchild. He's gorgeous. Hope you make lots of memories, lots of love. Claire, Simon, and Alpha. So I just want to say a real big thank you to Claire. Simon and Alpha for this beautiful card and for wishing us um, well and having a new grandson. So we do appreciate that and we're hoping to see them soon. So hopefully they will be here for the Halloween party when we have it. Then we've got this sexy monkey here. Yeah. Showing a peg. Tell, tell them how you say dad. A dad. A dad. A dad. A dad. A 
ada ada apa apa <laughs> ah dada can i have a kiss ayo what are you doing <laughs> can i have a kiss blow kisses you do it you do it can i have a kiss please is this Oh, you got a pretty girl. <laughs> Not Mason, you. <laughs> Not Mason, you. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. <laughs> Would you try to talk then? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to tell me what something wonderful. Where are you going? You're looking for Mason. He's not gone nowhere. He's not gone nowhere. No. And I just want to say that there won't be any hair in this vlog because I didn't end up doing it because I ended up having to hold this. <laughs> then I ended up doing tea. Then. When I did actually finally come to go into video doing Portia's hair, Penelope decided she wanted to run around screaming at the top of her voice. So I just gave up in the end and left it. So, but don't worry about it, I will do it. Actually, I think we're going to a craft day tomorrow, so maybe while they're doing that, I might just actually run back here and do an update on the Simple Sarah channel just because I haven't actually put. I'm going to have to stop saying actually because it is absolutely doom and nothing. So I really want to do an update on that channel. I didn't even do like a birthing vlog or anything. So I'm hoping to like do an update on that. Yes. But we didn't tell him how long it took to get you into the world. Yes. Yes. All the stress. All the stress of trying to get one little person into the world. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go home and we're going to have some apple stewed up. Yes. Yeah, we were going to do it here and we had custard and then we realised we didn't have a tin opener. So, we wrapped it up and we're going to take it home. We're going to have it there. So, we'll check in with you when we get home. Won't we? Yes. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> get back up. Get back up. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> She's going to transit down. Are you sitting down like a big girl? Hey. Are you sitting down like a big girl? Where are you going? She's got this thing at the minute where she keeps throwing herself back. But she was doing it last night when I was, well, she actually woke up. Um, around half eleven and didn't want to go back to sleep and she kept throwing her head back for me to tickle under her chin and then laughing at me. She was just a little monkey last night, weren't you? Yes, she was a little monkey. Anyway, I'm going. I'll see you Alright, so we were going to nip home, we were going to finish the vlog over there, but I thought, you know what, we're here, we may as well because I'm absolutely shattered. So I just wanted to say something before I go. I've had a lot of interest from subscribers and people that watch the channel. I'm the air fryer and whether or not that Bogota gave us a discount code. They've just messaged me with the discount code. It will be coming up here and it will also be below as well. It's limited for only a week. So if you want to get the air fryer with a discount off it, you need to use the code that they provided us. It's all capital letters, R family, R. All one word, R family, R. I've basically just told it you, shown it you, and told you where to go and view it. So. It's as uh, simple as that. If you want that air fryer and you want it with a discount, you need to use our discount code um, that they've provided us kindly. And you will not be disappointed with this um, fryer. It is absolutely ridiculously good. So, with that said, on that air fryer bombshell discount code, I am going to end today's vlog. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and make sure you click the notification bell. There's nothing. You can't leave us a comment because YouTube decided YouTube have decided to take them off again. 
for some bizarre reason and we will see you guys tomorrow hopefully with comments because we do this every single day